Angular Framework Overview. In this lesson, we learned what, when, why, who, and how of the Angular Framework. First off, what really is it? The Angular Framework is the latest development framework from Google. It is used for building modern web and mobile applications, and it can be written by TypeScript, Dart, or JavaScript. One thing to note here is that Angular is a framework. So it is not a new programming language, or it is not a standard or something. But it is a development framework that can be written in different languages, such as TypeScript, Dart, or the old JavaScript. In this course, we'll learn how to build Angular applications using TypeScript. When did it start? Before the new Angular 2 framework, we actually have the AngularJS framework, or Angular 1. AngularJS, which is based on JavaScript, was initially released way back in 2010. After several years, the Google team had planned to build a totally new Angular framework with different architecture and modules from the old AngularJS. In mid-2014, the design and development of Angular 2 was started. On September 19 of that year, the first code commit is done on their GitHub account. On March 14, 2015, the first alpha version was released. And on that same year, the beta version was also released as well. On May 3, 2016, the first RC, or release candidate version, was unveiled. And finally, on September 14 of that same year, the Angular 2 release version was released. At this point, the Google team had decided to use the semantic versioning for succeeding releases of Angular Framework. That's why, on March 2017, they called the new release of Angular 2 as Angular 4, even though there are only little changes on the core Angular 2 module. Instead of iterating the version to Angular 2.1, 2.2, 2 2.3, and so on and so forth, they had increased the version numbers to Angular 4, 5, and etc. But don't worry, notably, there's actually no huge changes on the syntax and the core module of the framework from the first 2.0 release version up to the 4.0 release and to the succeeding ones. It is still the same old Angular 2 that was just added with little improvements and new modules. The next and upcoming release versions have a higher version number only due to the new semantic versioning. But again, don't worry. The new Angular 4 version and upcoming Angular 5, 6, 7, and so forth are not another rewrite of the initial Angular 2 version that was released on 2016. So to simplify, we can just call Angular 2 simply as Angular. Thus, we will use the term Angular 2 and Angular Framework interchangeably in the entirety of this course. Why study Angular 2? The first reason is that it is already an in-demand skill in the IT market today. We can prove this by simply going to any job site and search for Angular 2 jobs. You'll be surprised with the number of employers and individuals who are looking for people who knows Angular 2. Second is that it is cross-platform. We can develop web, desktop applications, and even hybrid mobile apps using Angular 2. Third, and I think the most important, is that you're going to be a highly skilled and top paid software developer using this framework. Who is behind Angular 2? Well, it is none other than the technology giant, Google. So you don't have to worry that this framework will go obsolete anytime soon. Lastly, how to develop Angular apps? Well, that's what you're going to learn in our succeeding lessons. So come on. Let's start our Angular journey.